Welcome to the IBM Podcast Network. You're listening to TFG Cricket. Hey guys, this is Nikhil here. This is the TFG Sports Podcast and guess what? This is only the fantasy cricket edition. Now we have got a lot of requests on Twitter and Facebook stating that why don't you separate cricket from fantasy cricket and give us the latest update on whatever is happening in Big Bash, IPL, CPL, you can call it, you know, the the tournament you want. So we are here. We are only talking about fantasy cricket and first thing we are looking at is Perth Scorchers versus the brisbane heat okay that the is, voice you the voice you heard was of vivek krishnan he is the fantasy pandit and we'll be discussing all the ups and downs that are happening in big bash yeah. starting off with badri is out man yes nikhil that's the uh, big news coming from the brisbane heat camp samuel badri won't be featuring in this match mm. uh, he's gone for an mri scan mm. and uh, this happened obviously a few days uh, ago at the gabba so obviously they're going to miss their leading spinner yes he has been their regular wicket taker with the new opening. ball yeah. opening yes uh, something uh, very similar to what uh, ravichandran ashwin does yes. for india and for his uh, ipl franchise Chaizi opens with the new ball bowling spin bowling uh, bowling spin mm. and taking wickets so that's a loss having said that there is this new bloke who i think uh, swepson mm. who has been doing very well yes. for uh, the brisbane heat as a second leg spinner so i think he's obviously a straight replacement and mm. you should also feature him in your uh, fantasy team because as we have seen at the wacker the match by the way will be played at perth mm. and uh, the spinners have got some purchase okay. so and this guy has been picking wickets so there is no reason for you to ignore him yeah but there is another another injury scare yes. maybe a doubt chris lin is going get out big scare nikhil yep. uh, chris lin has been uh, in my opinion the batsman of the tournament till till now yeah. uh, i mean we have seen so many lusty blows obviously hmm. uh, the shot that i think uh, went on the, out of uh, the neighboring street yeah. <laughs> uh, at 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 brisbane that was uh, probably the shot of the tournament thus and far and it was against sean tate i guess it was it was yeah. i mean you imagine the kind of pace <laughs> that bloke is bowling at and i mean he's a strong built guy and he's got so much aggression and hmm. the balance that he has you know it's hmm. it's never Never easy when you hike a fast bowler mm. uh, to. I mean, I don't care which part of the ground. You still have to maintain that kind of balance, mm. and he does that. So that's obviously uh, another concern for uh, Brisbane Heat coming into this clash. He's got a very sore shoulder. Uh, he tried a very very difficult catch at Brisbane, couldn't mm. pull it off, mm. and uh, in in the process ended up. Uh, you know, a lot of these players are getting injured. Uh, yesterday we saw Andre Russell get. That injured. was terrible. He's yeah. he's gone. Nikhil. He's out of the BBL. Uh, f- uh, following I think uh, Dwayne Bravo was the first guy. Yeah. We saw that again uh, live on the field, uh, pulling his hamstring. I don't know big West Indian giant. having hamstring issues they yeah. are probably the most athletic fellows yep. in, in the ground yep. but this can happen look because uh, they are marquee players they are everywhere and they give 100% more than 100% more than 100% every and, and even on uh, even as far as fantasy cricket is concerned you look mm. at them they are proper utility cricketers proper match winners points with the bat field uh, ball everything is there almost mm. guaranteed mm. so that's another big loss so, for so sydney who... thunder this time and i i think this is again news for you guys carlos brathwaite mm. has been named as the replacement okay we are yet to see who who comes in for dwayne bravo that mm. is for melbourne renegades mm. but what we do know is carlos brathwaite will play for the sydney thunder okay so coming back to this match uh Lean would you take a risk of having him in the team No I don't think so I don't think so because if you look at both teams Nikhil uh Perth Scorchers have some fabulous uh, batsmen although mm. Sean Marsh again uh, has has uh, he has not been clicking No we've tried him for the last 2 3 matches is not played well that happens okay uh, but like like we discussed Sean Marsh yesterday also if you plot down a graph if you see last 10 years record in T20 format he's mm. right up there with the very best okay. one more chance yes I think because like like we we maintain you know great players they don't like to fail often mm. i think a big score he's going to break shackles i don't know when but i get a feeling it's going to be uh, in the next few hours against yeah. uh, brisbane heat okay. and and i say this also because brisbane heat if you look at their bowling they mm. don't have match winning bowlers mm. yes cutting has been doing very well uh, jason floros uh, there's this new kid on the block nick buchanan who mm. looks are who looks like ronnie i yeah. think so <laughs> <laughs> yeah there are a few blokes mm. uh, but match winners i don't see match winning bowlers and that's where i think sean marsh will cash in the dependency is on batsman for sure for okay. sure brendan mc Callum will lead yep. the way. Alex Ross and Joe Burns, so many of them. So I would say, don't take a chance. Even if Chris Lin 
plays the match all all you need to okay you you have to make sure that you know uh, you you buy somebody else you if you look at uh, brisbane's lineup alex ross is there brendan mckellum is there hmm. uh, the other guy i think uh, will be uh, joe bones who scored 50 and jamie pearson will open the inning obviously hmm. he'll be in the wicket keeping slot hmm. talking about perth ashton turner okay. michael klinger sean marsh you don't marsh. think uh, you don't think white man is a good choice I I don't think because so. because now you'll be getting in Sean Marsh. That's correct. Okay, That's so correct. the budget won't be an issue. Ah, uh, could be an issue, Nikhil, for hmm. sure. Ah, uh, but I think Pearson and Whiteman pretty much same budget. Hmm. I don't think there is a big difference between the two. And also, if you have Sean Marsh opening with Klinger, hmm. one down Ian Bell hmm. and two down Mitchell Marsh hmm. and Ashton Turner. Where is the slot for uh, Sam Whiteman? Yeah, okay. And 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 there could also be a trade between him and Cameron Bancroft. So okay. we'll have to wait and see. So. So because, the safest, yeah. Because Pearson, you know, has shown signs of getting back to form in the last game. We pick him because he's going to open the game, mm. uh, open the batting number one, and he's a uh, definite, uh, I think, uh, playing eleven material. So okay. we go with him. Yes, okay. Yes, yes, yes. Is the last game for Willie? Yeah, in Big Bash. It is. It is. He's he's going to be traveling to India. India. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, he's the lead bowler for England. He was, I think, one of the again uh, lead swing bowlers for the Perth Scorchers. He did very well. And like for like replacement, Tim Bresnan, another English all rounder, has been called in. I don't think he'll play this match. Uh, the attack will comprise Andrew Tai. Uh, Uh, Mitchell Johnson and obviously David Willey Richardson mm. again remains in doubt so mm. if you have to pick three uh, if you have to pick two seamers mm. seamers out of three mm. i would go for Andrew Tai and David Willey one last go because okay. he's been an excellent performer and 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 what many people don't realize is sometimes he gets promoted nickel number 4 or 5 Yeah, although true. he might not score, but yeah. a boundary here and there makes the difference. Yes, yes, totally. You know, coming back to Lean, you know, they must have seen what happened with Andrew Russell yeah. last night, and they might say that we don't want this to happen to Chris Lean, and we'll absolutely. That's the best way yeah. when you have a Trump player, okay. you don't risk him. Hmm. And Brisbane have been doing very well. They are sitting very pretty at the top, hmm. so they don't have to take chances. Nickel one game, it's okay. You still have about two and a half, three weeks to go for the tournament, uh, to, for the tournament to finish. Yeah. And uh, Chris Lynn is your match winner. Why risk him? Closely monitor, yeah. and if he's hundred percent fit. play him okay. but again again i repeat we are not going to take a chance okay so let's move on to the fantasy 11 can sure, you just name sure 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 uh, like i said michael klinger sean marsh aston turner brendan mckellum uh, wicket keeping jamie pearson all rounder ben uh, ben cutting mitchell marsh and uh, wildermuth bowling obviously swepson andrew tai and uh, david willy captain has to be mitchell marsh vice captain michael klinger Okay okay that's that's all big bash for you guys do keep in mind that badri is not playing lean is doubtful we move on to new zealand versus bangladesh which yeah. will be tomorrow that's right okay tomorrow morning indian standard time that's correct so bolt is in doubt bolt is in doubt uh, again uh, this this was uh, uh, i mean we we saw even before the series started plenty uh, was written about how they would use trent bolt and tim saudi their leading seamers hmm. for the series i think it is a good move tim saudi is uh, no longer a part of the series and we saw trent bolt was rested in the first uh, t20 it could yeah. happen again i say this because uh, ferguson has been bowling well matt henry has been doing well uh, the other i think debutant in ben wheeler hmm. he has been doing well so i see no reason for trent bolt to play and again this 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 side is very funny nikhil they had absolutely no reason to drop <laughs> jimmy nisham yeah. <laughs> can you explain there is no logic and i but i think they are experimenting you know these are the team bangladesh zimbabwe these are the team where you experiment boss, your sport boss you experiment as much as you want but you are hurting me in the process <laughs> don't do that please <laughs> i am investing cricket. serious budget <laughs> and and this happens only with new zealand i can go around predicting other teams is 11 12 no problem New Zealand out of 11 I'll probably get only 8 right. <laughs> It is so difficult. I mean they are like picking up anybody uh, giving people chances and uh, mm. I think for them the process matters, the rotation matters. Sometimes it also backs backfires mm. and it could happen against Bangladesh also. You will have to wait and see. But I expect Jimmy Nisham to come back. But if he comes back Nikhil who goes out? You can't mm. drop uh, Colin De Granholm who was uh, uh, who, who did well with both bat and ball. Mm. Uh, you really can't drop Mitchell Santner is so the mm. can you imagine is so the who was their frontline spinner just about 3 4 months back mm. got dropped so 
There but that so was much. in India. That was in India, but still he did very well away also. Yeah. He's he's been a very good T uh, Twenty bowler, a wicket taking bowler. Again, somebody who bowls in the power play. Hmm. Why drop him? I just don't understand. Not to say that Bangladesh don't play spin well, hmm. but if he is your strength, play him. Don't make him uh, warm the bench and supply water, man. Please hmm. don't do that. Again, this is all personal. <laughs> <laughs> but but it is what it is. Uh, okay. I think uh, you have to be very very careful. And when you pick uh, New Zealand. Team that is Nikhil. When you are picking their players, I think intuition, gut, and all goes for a toss because I think uh, you have to go by your research and you have to take calculated chances. Okay. You just can't drop Tim Saudi or Trent Bolt or Jimmy Nisha because they got dropped last match. Okay. Even Kane Williams, and you call him up and he'll tell you, I don't know, boss. Fifteen <laughs> minutes prior to the match, he'll say, Okay, I'll pick. Player one, player two, and player five is dropped. I don't know, so this can happen. Be mm-hmm. very, very careful. Another shocker we received was Taskin Ahmed from Bangladesh yeah. camp. That was again very, very silly. Unless he is nursing some injury, I see no reason for him to be dropped. Regardless, he or Mashraf he plays or not, I think the only bowler we can look at buying is uh, Mustafizur Rahman, yes. who has been a regular wicket taker, bowling some great, great uh, wicket taking deliveries. Also, his ability to uh not give away runs frugal hmm. spells uh in from 16 to 20th over you know it will really really help your fantasy team okay. as far as wicket keeping duties go no nurul hasan always luke ronchi again purely because of the experience yes batsmen pack everybody man colin munro neil broom has been in the form of his life kane williamson is there uh cory anderson nikhil i don't know i hate to say this but he's becoming a weak link don't you agree he's not bowling <laughs> yeah and he's not contributing maybe there with is the not much either. of a game time given to him game time i think so but there again i think new zealand promoted him at number 4 nikhil hmm. if he is not able to capitalize you have to stand up and say boss you're simply not good enough hmm. and if you're not delivering 2 3 overs if you're not bringing value to the team step aside step aside I'm going to pick somebody else. Mm. Will that happen? I don't think so mm. because like you pointed out this is the series to experiment mm. before I think South Africa get yes. there. So that is going to be the makeup of uh, New Zealand's team. Bangladesh I think Tamim Iqbal like I said Mustafa Izur Rahman Mahmudullah I'm a big big fan of this guy and if you want to settle for a cheap budget somebody who can really surprise you I think it is Mosaddeq Hussain yeah. who bowls a bit who bats a bit but at 7.5 or 8 nikhil what can you ask yes uh, captain wise captain i would say straight away pick new zealand top order it could be williams and munro it could be broom and munro uh, okay. that, that's so, how it so goes. so listeners need to wait uh, till we you know give our fantasy for sure 11, for sure because this is this is obviously going tomorrow yes. right yeah so, so uh, guys you can log on to our website thefangarage.com in that you can see a fantasy pundit kind of a section yeah. where you'll get all the latest on uh, whatever is happening in fantasy world yeah. you can uh, um tweet to us at tfg fantasy 11 you can write to us on facebook at fantasy pandit you can follow vivek krishnan at krishnan view that's right and uh, me at 42 nick hill till then keep hunting keep Bye-bye. hunting man our podcasts bring all the boys to the yard and damn right they're better than yours but you don't need to stand outside in the yard just follow ivm podcasts on facebook twitter and instagram we might be on tinder too just go ahead and swipe right